Reykjavik city centre at a standstill. 10,000 angry protesters storming Parliament Square, demanding answers from the Prime Minister. I'm just protesting like the rest of the nation, it appears. What are you protesting? Uh, I would like the Prime Minister to resign. As the crowds gathered outside, Sigmund Di David Gunnlaugsen was inside trying to reassure Parliament. Leaked Panama financial records suggest he and his wife brought a company in the British Virgin Islands in 2007 and he sold his 50% share to his wife for one dollar at the end of 2009. When elected earlier that year, he neglected to mention his stake in his declaration of shareholdings. He says he regrets not revealing this sooner. The offshore company was used to invest millions of dollars of his wife's inherited money, according to a document in the leaked files. I held too long onto the fundamental view that my wife's matters shouldn't be part of politics, and I apologise for having taken so long to do so. His opponents have insisted he step down and are preparing a vote of no confidence in the government. I will continue the good work and working on the big projects the government is still working on. And I trust that once the next parliamentary election is up, that the government and myself will be judged on the merits of what we have achieved. So what can you tell me about a company called Vintris? Well, uh... Last month he stormed out of an interview with Swedish public television after being repeatedly asked about his wife's company. He's now apologised for that. A spokesman for Mr Gunnlaugsen says no rules were broken, his wife didn't benefit financially and the assets had always been declared to the tax authorities. The issue of financial transparency is particularly sensitive in Iceland, a country that suffered greatly during the recession. Kirsty Johansson, BBC News.